Oh, here, let's, I guess let's just walk this way. Do you know why this place is important, honey? I don't know about the history of that. Of this place. So I was, I was, I was reading. I guess it was originally set up as some type of fr prison. I think maybe by the French with, mm -hmm. during the colonial days. Mm -hmm. But the the U.S. used it as a prison during the Vietnam or American War. Mm -hmm. So this is where the the U.S. would hold some of its prisoners of war. But there's, and especially in the U.S., there's a lot of references to the Vietnam War. Like in, like we watched Forrest Gump. Mm. He went to Vietnam. So I was like, if I come to Vietnam, I want to. Can you remember the the meter is about eight, 98? Mm-hmm. Oh, remember for me, now. Mm -hmm. Honey, this time's to be worried, and this time's not to be. Oh, I'm not to worry because you remind me all the time about money. Mm -hmm. That why? Honey, you, you make a plan, and you do things the best you can, and you have discussions. I made a plan for a motorbike, but I saw that already it's not okay. comfortable, and it's unhappy. Okay. Then you take a taxi. Oh. No problem. <laughs> if you ride, I will. You, you, would you like to ride a motorbike? Honey, calm down and enjoy <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> oh, this is a really long walk. Hotel to... hard with you, right? Yes, honey. Why? Coffee. There's a coffee shop over there. Mon Non Mickey. <laughs> Zero point is like why are that? <laughs> You know, in, in the pictures on the website, like these sculptures, things look pretty cheesy. But they look pretty nice in person. Do people really have to like stand here in the middle? How does this work? I guess they close the gates and have people around the ring. But like, you're not gonna scale that much of the prison to get out, are you? Oh. Do we really lock people up like this? Ugh, I was like get my all over again. <laughs> That's terrible, man. In the heat?
This is one of the most barbarous inventions that American puppet government used to torture prisoners at Fu Quoc Jail. This was called Tiger Cage. Actually, no tigers. Any jail branch had two or three cages. The cage was made by thickly knitting barbed wire on surrounding sides and on the top. There were many kinds of cages with different sizes, like one prisoner cage or three to five prisoner cage. There were cages in which prisoners had to lie on, their, on the land, sand, or on the barbed wire. In some cages, prisoners couldn't lie but stand or just stand and sat with a stoop. Just with a small move of changing their postures could prisoners be torn by barbed wire in these cages. All the cages were laid outdoors. The prisoners who were imprisoned in the cage were not allowed to wear any clothes except shorts. They had to hear bear sunny, rainy, and foggy weather all day and night despite mosquitoes and gadfly stinging. They were provided with just a little rice and salt, sometimes no salt. A few mugs of water and they had to pee and poop right inside the cage. When cold nights fell, the guards flushed water onto the cage with the reason of satisfying tiger's thirst or washing the cage. On hot days, they flushed bittern I don't know, onto prisoners with the explanation of embalming prisoners for them to gain weight. Sometimes they made fire next to the cage. After several days in the cage, the prisoner's entire body was skinned. Some prisoners grew a lot, layer of thin skin, then it was burned and skinned again. Others couldn't bear heat, icy feelings, hunger and thirst, so they passed away right at the cages. Some of that was lost in translation, but... Mm. Damn. <laughs> Unlike Bob Wire Tiger Cage, Catsco Cage, created by American Puppet Administration, was much more barbarous to Fuquak jail prisoners. It was made by pieces of iron whose four sides were tight covered with the shape of a small or big container. This cage was designed to suppress prisoners. The cage was tight closed so no light could come into it. Therefore, the prisoners lacked a breathing air, ate and drank sorrowfully, peed and pooped right at the cage, faced icy feelings at night and severe heat on daytime. Being caged several days, the prisoners might not be able to see anything due to dizzy eyes and seriously decreasing health and spirit. So you got the tiger cages, and they'd pack people in these cages too. How's honey? Go with her. Oh. So of yours, reappearance of prisoners fight against the enemy's terrorism. From 1969 to the middle of 1972 in the prison, the enemy possessed a campaign of forcing the prisoners to the new activity area very drastically. After several unsuccessful subductions, bribes, open arms policy, the enemy transferred to use the force to repress the prisoners all day and night, mainly in subdivisions of southern prisoners. They arrested many prisoners and sent them to be tortured, explored, and then they put these prisoners in the tiger cage, placed them in close confinement, doomed them, mortified their bodies in many ways to make prisoners to die and relax. Night after night, at around 1 to 2 a.m., they rushed into the detention room to beat the prisoners for months. The fight to protect the life and revolutionary ideas of the prisoners was very violent and it gave many sacrifices and losses. The enemy killed, caused hurt, and disability of thousands of prisoners. At the same time, prisoners were worried, wavered when the enemy placed them in new activity prison camps for being deceived. Somewhere, the prisoners of the new activity area stood up to be against, defeated the new activity area to return the prisoners area. The fight ended with victory.
some of the English translations are not very good. <laughs> How can you know that? <laughs> what? Because the English isn't well written. You are not a native speaker. I'm not a native speaker of English? Maybe. Oh, look, the, the prisoners got, they got stuff there. I cannot make a lot of voice. You can't make a lot of voice voice? Like you talk some joke. I think it's not good for love for this place. We have to respect. That's probably true. I'm so sorry. Sorry, what? Sorry that I laugh. Oh, that you laugh? Mm. This place is for sad needs people. I, I mean, it, it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's not. Oh, we can't go out that way. So this is just another... I just realized this would be like the barracks. This is where like, I guess the prisoners lived when they weren't in the tiger cages, which still is really bad accommodations. Um, this is the real place that they use for war. Yes, this is the, the South Vietnam, which was supported by the United States. Mm -hmm. This is one of the PO, prisoner of war camps. So North, North Vietnam, which was, it, well is, because they won, is communist. Mm -hmm. They were fighting the South Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Prisoners were making souvenirs with metal sheets to improve their knowledge. After the Tet Offensive in 1968, the fight between our soldiers and the Americans and their puppets became fiercer and fiercer. In order to be against to the psychological warfare plot of the enemy, taking advantage of rare moments when the enemy did not repress, terrorize the subdivision's party committee, organized for the prisoners to create by themselves means for their study of politics, culture, letters, and art and activities, telling a traditional story commemoration of big national holidays and turn the prison into a revolutionary school. The organization of study, letters, and odd activities in the prison was a very difficult, arduous matter. Even they had to incur terrible disabilities and sacrifice. But the movement of study and letters and odd activities still raised strongly, attracting many prisoners to attend, contribute to reduction of stress. The persons felt more optimistic, united, supported each other, and contribute to holding senses of purpose and uprightness, belief in revolutionary victory, which created favorable conditions for the secret force to dig tunnels for escaping from the prison, defeating the plot of the enemy. This was one of the decisive factors of the victory of the fight in the prison. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, holding on to cultures and who they are, singing, making stuff. It's all you can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you want to go here?
lots of barracks. These ones are empty. It's okay. Yep, we've already been over there, honey. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's all history. Oh, we? Oh, you cannot. Oh. They are to come like this or? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Oh, they tie that guy up and they're trying to cook him. Mm -hmm. The enemy fires the prisoner's penis. Oh, they're trying to burn his penis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even more specific. I want to see everything while I'm here. The enemy grills the prisoners on the ball fire. Oh, okay, that's them just trying to. The enemy forces the prisoner to overturn on the iron girl with notches. The enemy clips, oof. The prisoner is between two boys and uses the big pestle to beat on the board surface. The enemy uses the hammer to drive nails into the prisoner's meals. That seems a little gruesome. Oh, we can't go through there. There's barbed wire. Oh. No, I just, I get a lot of stuff in my pockets. The B2 zone prison. This was also like the other jails. However, this prison had a couple of tunnels for fail breaks, completed during the six months by courageous, wise, and unyielding revolutionary cadres and militants. That was a special phenomenon in this prison. A successful jailbreak happened on January 20th, 1969. 21 prisoners escaped and returned to resistance bases of Fuquoc District. This is the first jailbreak tunnel and one of seven successful times of tunnel digging. However, only five times could a revolutionary patriot be able to escape the Fuquoc jail. We will keep deep memories in all our mind, all our life. We cannot forget eventful, wretched, but very magnanimous and full of pride days of 36 years ago in the imperialists' prisons. We engrave and keep in our mind and commit to develop such glorious tradition, unite wholeheartedly, struggle steadfastly to oppose the plot and trick of fiendish, wicked torture of the enemy with hundreds of tricks such as oh. 
all of this. I don't want to read all that. That's long. It's a long speech. Tortures the prisoners by a kind of electric turn. Pours soapy water into the prisoner's mouth. that hurt. They're dunking him in water and then hammering the pedestal. Ooh, this does not look fun. I don't know if they hang them like that, but then they beat them. Uh -oh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff in my pockets. Come down. Walk through that space because it's high. <laughs> yes. <But you. laughs> well, that one didn't have a thing on it. These people are just in here chilling. Oh, is this one of the tunnels? Looks like maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I must be digging one of the tunnels. I didn't see the tunnel on the other one, did you? Me too. I didn't see. <sighs> Fuquang Jail, built by the American public government. Yeah, where? I can walk. Had nearly 500 stockades to imprison nearly 40,000 revolutionary militants. This was one of those stockades. For the area of about 100 meters squared, usually imprisoning from 70 to 120 prisoners, sometimes more. At first, the floor was just soil surface. Then it was tiled by cement due to many jailbreaks. The jail's frame was made by iron roof and ceiling by corrugate iron. So it was very hot in summer and very cold in winter. At times, prisoners had to exchange each other's positions, one lying, one standing, and vice versa, due to too many prisoners in a room. Mainly, they were made to lie for fear that they would escape again. So they said they put 100 prisoners in each of these? Maybe. We'll see. Well, that's what it says, honey. beat with a big pedestal and they call it as the procedure for entering the prison. Mm. At the prison where Vietnam slash Foucault communist prisoners are kept, the enemy applied more than 45 tortures of prisoners from the Middle Ages to the Modern Ages. The purpose is to discover the organization, the leader, the guideline of escape, and force prisoners to tan prison for their activities. Consequently, more than 4,000 prisoners were killed for the period of five years. The existing duration of the prison from July 1967 to March 1973. The evidence was the holes for burying collective of thousands of persons and the nails from eight to 10 centimeters still pinned the head bone, shin bone, foot bone, knee, leg, etc. of the found prisoners remain. What 
torture techniques this this oh they would just cook them in a boiling pan ow <laughs> you like history honey i feel sad you feel sad mm -hmm. i'm pretty on me Yes. That's war. When you work, you have to be aware of the laws too that if you have any accidents, you're not going to get war. Did you know that? Yes, I know. You that. always say that, but you're not aware. I'm aware. I see the little things. I know, now there's like a fence there, but that fence probably wasn't there back in the day. This was probably just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, close, close up the things aren't quite as good, but when you see them from a little bit of a distance, walking around like this. Oh, there's a guard. like there's bricks either something was back here or mm. the mountains are really pretty though oh is this the restrooms honey Yes. Yeah, that looks like the restrooms, right? Mm, this looks like a toilet. Water closets. Behind each branch of Fuquak Jera built two WCs. They were made by ironic frame and tiled by corrugated iron. There was deliberately no corrugated iron surrounding as it was easy for the military to control prisoners. Under each peeing hole laid half of an oil drum to contain stools. Every day, prisoners were escorted out to empty the oil drum. At nights, they were compelled to pee and poop right at their own rooms. Uh, be aware. One more to make me scared of that. Scared of what? Falling off? Walking. Okay. I look weird without my glasses. Is that that's probably was the god shack back there? What don't you think? Oh, that's, that's them changing out the stool things where the poop went. Are they burying him alive?
Oh, careful. This gives you just, I mean, this isn't even that many people. This gives you an idea of just how many people they cram in here. One, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eight, nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. There's only 27 people in here, and it feels pretty crowded. I mean, not people, but yeah. Can we walk this way? Mm, no. No. Ow. I mean, this bed is okay, but this bed, I do not see people. Yeah, I mean, there's not a path. I'm just here. I want to. I want to see everything. Okay, okay. Oh, there's God up there in the tower. How do they get up there? They're like a. Oh, the ladder's on the other side. Okay. There's a tree. You want to go see the tree? I see a lot of tree already. We come in here. Oh my! Reappearance of tunnel for escaping prisoners. Escaping from prison was the high, highest fighting way of the prisoners, which was determined by the party committee of the subdivisions as the top duty in order to bring officers, soldiers to the revolutionary line. So Forty-one times of escaping from prison. Was this the, the tunnel? It looks like it. Did they really dig all this? Mm -hmm. Don't try to trust in things. Yeah. Thank you for listening. I, I touching the sides here. But you have to wash your hand too. Oh, uh, okay. So this was probably, well, I don't need to go on it, but this was probably more like what the tunnels they did were like. Okay. They're just showing us. Oh, man. This is just long to walk this far. Could you imagine having to dig all that? It's not even just like you're digging all that, but like if you get caught, they'll torture you. This just takes us, from the stairs standpoint, this just takes us out here. No, no. Where is your alcohol gel? Alcohol gel? Mm -hmm. What alcohol gel? Oh, you always carry your gel for cleaning your hand. Oh, so. no, I didn't bring it. Oh. 
You're supposed to touch the handrail. The prisoners escape from prison. Oh, that's cool. Coming out of a hole. Oh, let's go back. Because it was too hot. You want to look around here? Where do you want to go, honey? This, that's exit. Huh? Do you want to exit? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can see that leads right to the exit tunnel for the guy. You good, honey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you tired from always walking? Why not? You walk about one hour already. I guess it's good we didn't walk all the way here then, right? Mm -hmm. 18. These are something. I don't know what those are. Mm. Boom! <laughs> Exercise! <gasps> Hot weather. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. <coughs> you lose all that water weight. So what's right out? Hmm. Not this time. Oh, I cannot. How much for USD? Um, USD on that. Probably have Wi Fi. What was that? Oh, less than $10. They said that's 80 baht. 80, 80, 80, but we play to 200 by day. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Eight. So about that. So about eight. I'm the same price we would have paid to rent a scooter. The exact same price. They, oh, said, no. they said a scooter is about eight bucks a day. Oh. So. Hmm. So it's okay. Yeah. How much for Thai baht? I want to know Thai baht, please. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm probably going to do stuff in Thai baht anyways. About 200. Oh. 270. Mm -hmm. About 300. Mm -hmm. Oh, we play for the airport. Don't see him, baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> we play for taxi. When we like. Or when we... No, it was only 300 from the airport. 300 arrived for the airport. 300. Who said that 300? What? That we arrived. Oh, to the airport. Oh, 
No, I meant oh, I meant I meant the hotel. What? The hotel only charged us well, I think like four hundred each way. How's that? I know the cable car is not going now, but oh. Good guy, what? <laughs> she sent me some tam honey. Going with my GoPro, huh? Okay, I am. <laughs> You're taking video too? No, photo. Oh, photo. I take photo for Mandy. Mandy said that you don't like to watch video. Oh, okay. Yes. No. This is. The... What is? Oh, what is that? Is that that arena? Mm. I cannot even. It looks like it's still in a construction. It looks like some type of arena. Man, this is nice. See food less wrong. I don't know if it's open or not though. It says some sign. Man. Mm. 
Do they have nice places like this down in Fuquak? I mean, not Fuquak, uh, uh, Phuket. Sure, you should try. I told you already. You can have some uh, pirate beach too. That's very. The limit for the gate. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. At worst, somebody would come and tell us to order food. I need some drinks a little bit. Okay, well then, get, let's get something to drink. I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. I still did not. Uh, can you hold the umbrella? Let's go, let's go see if we can find a place that oh, uh oh that will sell you a drink. Draft beer. beer. Draft beer. <laughs> Maybe they have a drink. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe only beer. Restaurant, buffet. Okay. Do you want to look at the menu? Okay. We need a place to eat tonight, right? Okay. So, vegetables. Yeah. Porridge. Rice. Buy rice. Frog's dishes. Mm. I look Pop like a tom yum cool eye. Pop pots. Just looking. Oh. I just want my wife to know what her options are for Din Din. Man. Like, I feel sad there's not like more people here. Mm. Like, this, I mean, I, they're still building a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of this. Place. Huh? What place? Me. <laughs> the, the 
cable car is right, just right there. Did you want something to drink? I guess, yeah. Restaurant and bar, beer club. So we can probably go to one of these places for dinner if you want to, right? Yeah. But we can be probably you first. Yeah, we will. Okay. Did you want to walk that way or? There. Yeah, we're going to walk up here. Are we going there? Yeah, it looks like that's some type of show pavilion. that they're building. Well, we just passed the bar. I'm tired until I cannot breathe. It's good like a something here. You go back to the hotel too. Why? Why don't let me die first and then we can go back? What you like to walk? We say, well, ma, let's walk. Ma, walk. Don't stop. Walk with the sun like this. You're like, ma. Where do we want to go? Anywhere that you want to go, tell me what. No, where do you want to go, honey? I don't want to go. I just follow you. Because uh, you are a professional of this. I was just walking around out here. See what the, I wanted to see what there was. But I said that can you wait for the sunset or anything. Said, I will walk for a few minutes. Yeah, look at my skin. It's burned my skin a lot. I know already you don't know about basics of people need. Let's go back to the hotel. Well, can we go up this way? Okay, okay. Ding, ding, oh, just two, no, three. Hi, it's. 
Do you clock? Is that our hotel over there? Where? Yeah. We got the bill something. It's dangerous or not? It should be fine, honey. It's a four hour. Well, we can go up and around if you'd like. I'm tired. I'm upset. I'm tired. I'm, it's hot. And that's why when we passed those restaurants, I said, why don't you get something to drink? No, you can say that they can see it. I don't, I am mean, not have to live tour that save all the time. I mean, you want to save money, you just live in the house. I, I didn't say those things. Every jail branch had kitchens and dining rooms. In reality, dining rooms and food clock jail were but serving places for kitchens, activities like gathering vegetables, processing fish, and so on. When rice was done, it was spit into oil drums and sent to each room for prisoners. Prisoners were extremely ill, treated. They never ate and drank enough. Certainly, they didn't have enough water for washing and bathing. Each person had only two small bowls of stale rice along with a few pieces of dried fish and a little cucumber soup in each meal. Solitary confinement was much worse. Every day each prisoner had only one mug of water and one handful of stale rice with salt, even sometimes without salt.
ways of torturing prisoners. We already looked at that. So I guess these these ones up here would have been, they said what, the kitchens and stuff? Where is the hotel card? I think keep it with me, it should be nice. I don't know, what, what are those things you think, honey? Oh, is that water systems, maybe? Prisoners were regularly chosen to cook. They were forced to pick firewood in far forests and to dig wells for water using. If wells couldn't be dug, water was transported and poured into tubs. Major food were stale rice and spoiled fish. Kitchens were also good places for cadres and militants to exchange information and to make struggles and jailbreaks. There have been two successful jailbreaks. Prisoners sat under an oil drum covered by sandbags. Muggy soil and a layer of wet garbage were laid on the surface. On the top layer left firewood and smoking charcoal connected to a vent for breathing. Other prisoners would then empty the oil drum. Oh. Okay. So here's the kitchen, some of the kitchen stuff, right? So that they can make fire. So how they cook the rice. They have actual water lines. That was like maybe all. Some type of tubs for water. Oh, has this been the well? I want to see a well. Oh. Here, why don't we go back through the kitchen? It's, it's probably. Wait, did you want to put the umbrella up for the sun? Yeah, but I can't. Oh. You done?
gave you an umbrella for the sun. Look at that. A lot of people with tour groups coming by. The guards they have around are like really cool. Those ones get me. Those tiger cages are pretty sad. Only this? Only this? Only with this building for this place? I think so.